All right, in this video, we're going to be making shape files to for the tra tracing work to be done. So uh, in the map tracing folder, what I'm going to do is uh, do a right click and then you're going to go to new. From new, we're going to go to shape file, click on shape file, new shape file. Then you are going to give the name. So let's call it boundary, boundary. And the feature type is going to be uh, polygon and then we're going to give other coordinate systems click on edit from there go to geographic coordinate systems from there go to world then from there we go to wgs 1984 click on ok there we go it's done now click on ok and if you open this file up now all right there you go you have a boundary shape file but the as you can see the boundary shape file if you go to the attributes table you'll see that the boundary shape file is empty it does not have any polygon any point polyline or anything at all okay so next we're going to do the same we're going to go to new we're going to go to shape file this time uh, let's call it uh, let's call it main roads main roads now main roads are going to be polyline roads are always polyline click on edit from there we're going to do the same thing go to world select wgs 1984 click on ok click on ok so we have our main roads as well as you can see this is showing uh, this color because it is representing a polygon now let's keep it hollow make it a bit darker there you go click on ok and here we have the main roads you can choose whatever you uh, whatever the type you want let's make it black click on ok now if you go to the legend of this map you'll see that there are different types of roads so how many roads depending on the types of roads you have available you are going to need to make that many polyline shape files okay so i'm not going to be making all of this i'm just going to do a main road uh, that is going to be the national highways so instead of calling it main road let's call it national highways um, so apply it and okay now if you can do one road properly then you'll be you'll be able to do any more roads as well you can do the embankment as well and you can do the village road as well these are dotted roads and the embankment looks like that so to change that click on there from there you can see that you have the there you go you have the dotted feature there okay now if you don't have the dotted feature as well you can always go to edit symbol to make that for example uh, i cannot find anything that is representing the embankment there you go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make one for myself so we have this one this is the uh, contour topographic depression so go to edit symbols there you go we have it there there we have the layers Ashline symbol template line properties color the angle is at 90 degrees well, let's change the angle and see what happens if we do a 180 degrees as you can see the line has now changed so let's do a 360 degrees Okay, now then let's do zero degrees. Nothing happens. It is changing its direction. Now let's keep it at 90 degrees. Now it is in the downside. So what we have to do is we're going to have to rotate it upside down. We have that. Okay. So we're going to add a new feature that is going to represent this one. Now I'm going. I have unchecked the this colored line. Now we have checked on to this line. Now we're going to give it. Now we're going to give this the same exact color or we can keep it black and make the dots black as well. Make it black. There you go. 
now as you can see it is uh, representing more the embankment shape now if i uh, decrease the width as you can see it is now closely representing the embankment shape so the more you play around with it the more you'll be able to get it right okay so that is how you can change around the shapes and play with them i'm not going to change it since we're going to have it as only national highways now we're going to make a point file so let's go new now shape file again here let's uh, give the let's call it college so it is going to be a point file edit the coordinate systems go to world wgs1984 click on ok click on ok unable to create new shape file permission is denied i have no idea why that happened let's try that again go to shape files let's call it college it's going to be a point file let's go to world let me go to wgs984 click on ok click on ok all right for some reason we're not being able to do it i think this time it is going to work let's do a refresh go to shape files point all right so for some reason i'm not being able to make shape files right now but but i'll be able to make shape files eventually okay so let's try it one more time There you go. Now our point shape file has been added. So now, as you can see, we're going to make it into our college file. I, I don't know why I wasn't being able to make a shape file. Now we're going to make the college type, right? So the college symbols looks like this, but right now the file we have looks like this circle one. So we're going to make it look like that by the help of editing. So I'm going to take the let's see which symbol would be helpful for us to make that there we go we have circle 21 let's go to edit symbol now we have the circle and the circle so i'm going to change the color of it to match that color there we go now i'm going to uncheck this one okay remove it even and i'm going to add in something new this is going to be our borders so let's increase the size of it 16 18 uh, let's do a 20 there you go and we're going to decrease the size of this one to let's say now let's increase it to 18 and 20 there you go perfect now we just need uh, the c inside of it so to put the c inside of it let's take a new one it is showing a rectangle here so we're going to change the font so let's go up and let's see inside Arial. here we go we have a c here now the c is here now let's increase the size of the c there we go we have that unicode and the points the color as well now if i hadn't chosen Arial, let's go see Arial black there you go Arial black has a deeper c that represents our symbol so click on ok click on ok as you can see now the college symbol is uh, quite similar to the college symbol of this map now let's rename this shape file as college college in the similar way you can make the high school primary school and the madrasa as well okay so that 
is how you can make the uh, polygon shape file the uh, polyline shape file and the point shape files okay that is how you can do that so that was it for this video uh, in the next video we're going to do the map tracing so thank you very much for watching if you have found the video to be useful please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one thank you